Okay, so the foundation, I have my Old Faithful, my NARS in the color Cartoon. And I'm using the, I'm mixing that with the Maybelline Fit Me in the color Mocha, which is 360. This is a dewy formula. The reason why I'm doing that is because I noticed that when the NARS starts oxidizing, I get like super red and I hate the way that that looks. So I've been trying to get rid of that. So I found mixing these two colors definitely help. I'm not going to do too heavy because... I don't know, I just don't want to do too heavy. Another thing that I've been doing is, if you notice, my neck is darker than my chest, and uh, the rest of my body, my neck and my face. And that's um, hereditary. My grandmother's like that, my mom's side too. So, you know, it happens. I'm not like ashamed of it or anything, but what I try to do is like, I don't want to look crazy when I put my makeup on when my face is matching my chest and my neck is dark. So I've been putting foundation on my neck more. We're going to start with that and work our way up. Okay. So other things that have been going on with me, let's see. Well, just adjusting to being in the winter time. Um, if you didn't know, I am from Atlanta or Atlanta is where I lived most of my life, about 18 years thus far. And, um, so I lived in the Northeast when I was a child, so I definitely encountered winter and snow. But, you know, spending 18 years in a place where it snowed like maybe three times out of the year to coming to a place where it snows every day for like a good three months um, it was an adjustment. And I'm not going to lie, like it's been tough, um, especially in February because... We've got an ice storm, it's been like super cold, and like I said, um, my husband and I, we don't have a car right now, which is fine because we live in a place that, like Montreal and even Laval, like you don't have to have a car, you can kind of get around for the most part, if you don't have kids, we don't have kids, um, but just trying to walk in the cold and the snow and like um, when we get like storms, like the t like nothing shuts down, people keep going. But like as a commuter, it can be a bit much, you know. And um, so I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely had winter blues, for sure. Um, but you know, I'm adjusting, and it's February now, so hopefully, in about maybe I want to say another two more months, it'll start to. March is a lot better than February, but, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't put any, um, primer on, mainly because, um, I don't know, I don't like to, uh, I mean, primer does let your, help your makeup sit, you know, stay, but I, I'm probably not going to have this on, like, all, all day, and I'm not a big, uh, full coverage type person. I know how to do it if I have to, but it's not like, you know. So this is the NYX HD Concealer in the color uh, Nutmeg. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to put like three dots. Well, four. Two, three, four. I might do like one, two, three. And the tribal look. Not too heavy. And then I'm going to take the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again and just, just underneath my eye, go underneath that. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but that's okay because we have a lot of catching up to do. So I'll do that. And we'll do that. I wanted to say, um, I know I kind of talked about my goals, but if you, you know, share with me what your goals are. Like, what are some of the things that, I know it's February, but, you know, what are the things that you have intended to do? And what are you hoping to, you know, how's it been going, getting started? And, you know, do you feel like um, you'll be able to accomplish your goal? You know, do you need to do a reset? Which, by the way... If you click on the eye, I also have a video that I did last year about how to um, set your goals and maintain them. 
so check that out so i'm gonna use my finger to set this and then i'll go back with the brush i'm not gonna use a, a beauty blender this time just the warmth of my fingers yeah that's good really 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 like any i don't really have any other major major goals i have some goals in terms of uh Oh wait, no, I'm changing the subject. So the snow. So yeah, the snow sucks. That's the end of the story about the snow in winter time. Um, but <laughs> back to the goals. Don't really have any other major, major goals. I'm trying to learn French. So um, if you speak French or if you had to learn French or another language, give me your tip, some tips. I pretty much studied Spanish literally from like kindergarten into college. I was a Spanish major and then I dropped it because it was killing my GPA. Um, and then, <laughs> um, so I find it ironic that after spending all those years studying French, I end up moving to a place where they speak French. So my Spanish has definitely helped with my learning of French because there's a lot of root similarities in how the languages are structured, but at the same time, it is a different language and I do find Spanish to be a little bit easier just a little bit you know you know you know you know okay that and that okay so let's set this we're almost finished so to set my foundation and everything I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder um, I still have the old one, which is the, the white one, but they just came out with one for deep skin and I was going to buy it. I was going to make the splurge, but it was sold out. So I'm hoping I, I wrote down my email so they'll send me a, a notice when it's back in stock. So but we're just going to go over really lightly because this stuff does kind of white you out. Not too. And for underneath the eye, sometimes I'll take a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup. And just do just a tap of that underneath, not too heavy. I'm sure this is like a little bit in, unconventional, but one of the things that I've embraced about applying makeup is that the average person is not putting makeup on for Instagram. So, you know, just do what makes you feel comfortable, you know? You don't have to be you know a professional at it if you like to do it professionally for fun i totally get that but there's no pressure and i think sometimes people feel intimidated with putting on makeup because they feel like you know they see how other people apply it like on youtube and stuff like that and they're like i can't do that but yes you can you just gotta take practice and do it over and over again so that's pretty much done for the blush i'm going to combine two colors i do that a lot that's a really good way to maintain your makeup on the budget because a lot of times, you know, obviously there's, you know, a lot of companies out there for makeup and they're always coming out with something new and so you feel this pressure like I gotta get this, I gotta get this. But the reality is that the average person cannot afford to drop like 30 to $40 on a blush, you know, every month or even $20 on a blush every month. So I will get, you know, like a palette and like, combine my colors just to kind of you know stretch my makeup so I'm going to be using this is a warm berry by black radiance I've had this forever and then this is the the blush palette from elf and I'm going to use a little bit of this color right here I don't know the name of it I don't think there is a name but I will smile I want to do a little bit of bronzing so I have my go-to bronze which is a Queen CoverGirl Queen collection do a little bit like underneath the blush this isn't really like contour because I'm I'm a more deeper skinned woman so it's really more like bronzer I've just given up on contouring I don't feel like I need to do that you know just a little bit of a little dimension back in there there pretty and then for the um highlight what i'll probably do is what am i going to do maybe take a little bit of the that gold that i use on my eye 
from the Jack Gagano palette. This is a really cute, great palette and it was only six bucks. So. And I'm just going to go just, just a little bit. Swipe here. Smell it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the face. So we just gotta finish the eyes and the lips. I didn't do a heavy eye um, eyeliner because I'm using lashes, more like glamorous lashes. The lashes that I'm using are by Laura Lashes, they're mink. And these are the doll me up ones. I love these things. Love them, love them. The tip for me is really that you have to allow the glue to get tacky. And then I'm going to close my eyes. That's one. I'm gonna do the other one off camera because it takes it takes a minute. Okay, so now we have the lashes on. Just a couple of things about lashes. Um, it takes a while to get used to wearing them because you definitely feel them on your eyes. Sometimes they will 100% stick. Sometimes they don't. Don't sweat it. Like I just gotten to a point where I feel like do the best you can. Last but very not least, we're gonna do our lips. So I'm gonna be using. Max Antique Velvet, and this is what it looks like. So pretty. And then on top of that, I'm going to be putting this is the lip lingerie by NYX. This is in the color Teddy. I think they discontinued this. I'm not sure, but man, it's a great combo. So just a, it's like a reddish brown. Now you can totally leave it like this, but I kind of want to lighten it a little bit, which is why I use Teddy. So, take our Teddy. And I like to kind of start in the middle, because I don't want to cover my whole lip. press and the thing about the lip lingerie is that it starts off really liquidy but then after it, when it dries it kind of gets tacky which is why I like it if you want to you can even put a lip gloss over it we'll see how what I want to do when I'm done with it but that's pretty much the completed look so I'll be right back okay everybody let's zoom out thanks so much for Kind of doing this with me is the first time I've ever done like a makeup chat. Like I said, this is a complete complete look. What I I want to say one more thing for my lashes. These are a little bit more dramatic. If you want to do something more simple, um, Belor also has the Wispy Me Away. These are like my uh, regular like if I'm just doing really 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 simple. But I wanted to just do just a touch of drama, not too much though. But yeah, thanks for sitting with me, chatting, letting me kind of just run my mouth. Um, if you have any ideas of more videos that you'd like to see from me, please let me know. Um, if you are looking for more, a specific type of simple look, please let me know. I'm always looking for ideas. I will be posting some more videos with my hubby, uh, Mr. Sammy. So look out for those. But I appreciate everybody that's kind of stuck around. I'm still extremely small, but um, hopefully as I grow, I get more subscribers the people who were really there with me in the beginning you all can kind of help me guide me through this process of youtube with all that being said thank you guys so much such a pleasure speaking to you all and i will see you soon